Hi, I'm Dennis Gibbs, owner of Gibbs Marine Surveys. We're up at Lake Texoma today. We're here to check out this boat because of zebra mussels. This boat has been transported from a lake up north down here to our lakes in Texas and zebra mussels were found on the trim tabs of the boat. The Texas Parks and Wildlife Department game warden has hired us to come out and check this boat out thoroughly to make sure that there are no zebra mussels hidden inside sea strainers and water filters and such. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to take you inside this boat with me. Right now I'm getting ready to check out the sea strainer, the water filter for the air conditioning water pump and see if there's any zebra mussels inside there. Come on and follow me in. I'm going to take this off now, this top. It's got some trash down in the bottom of it. As you can see it's got trash up in the top of it here. I don't want to let any of it get down into the bilge. I'm going to pull this tube out and use this rag. Let's see what might be inside of this thing here. Let's get out of the inside of the boat and we'll go out here at the back deck and see what we've got. There's some muck and mud in there. And that one right there? I think so. That right there. It's plants. Alright, let's see what we got in here. There's there's a zebra mussel right there. There's the inside of him. He's broken apart. There's a shell of some sort. See that? Here in the forward part of the engine room, we've got through holes that we've looked at underneath the bottom of the boat. We've got this through hole, which is the speed log indicator. The engine through hole is back there. The engine is going to have to go through a decontamination process. There is no filter for the engine and it does draw raw lake water to cool the motor. The same effect is for the air conditioning, water pump, and for the toilet. also uses raw water to flush the toilet. So all of those systems are going to have to be flushed out. Alright, I've started down here in the anchor locker. I'm going to continue to pull out some more anchor line. It looks like I have found some uh, they look like they're dead, but I do uh, appears that there's some uh, evidence of zebra mussels down here in the anchor lock. This is just from having the the anchor line in the water and pulling it up after you're done anchoring. All of this line will have to be treated. I think that's a very small one. Okay, what you're looking at right here is the bow thruster, one of the blades on the prop inside the bow thruster here and that is a colony of zebra mussels that have been missed and uh, thank God that this boat hasn't entered the water yet because uh, that's what would be growing on everything now if uh, Lake Texoma had those so uh, those are zebra mussels right there and uh, that's on that prop for the bow thruster as you can tell you can hardly even 
see these zebra mussels there. They hide themselves in the back, and uh, unless you get up in there and you know really take a look at them, you can't tell that uh, those are zebra mussels. As you can see, they're coming into focus now. Look at those guys. What they do is they stack on top of each other. That's how they colonize, is they attach to each other and just keep building up on top on top of each other and, and uh, so those are zebra mussels on the bow thruster. Okay, look how small this zebra mussel is. That is a penny sitting in my hand. This zebra mussel right here was found on the prop of this bow thruster on this boat. These little creatures right here will clog up your through hole fittings, your engines. They'll get up into your intakes. This is bad. This one here is still alive and it's been on a transport for this boat for many, many weeks. It hasn't even been in the water. And this one's still alive. Well, this concludes the investigation of zebra mussels on this 30-foot powerboat. Gibbs Marine Surveys was hired by the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department to come out and investigate this boat to see if it has any zebra mussels on it. And our conclusion is, yes, that it does. We found zebra mussels on the port trim tab, also up on the bow thruster on one of the blades up there you saw a colony of them. Not to mention there were several on the other side of the bow thruster. I believe we also found zebra mussels down in the sea strainer for the air conditioning water pump. Man, these things can be a nuisance. I'm glad we found them to protect our beautiful Lake Texoma. I'm Dennis Gibbs, and that concludes the investigation into the zebra mussels on this 30-foot powerboat. We'll see you next time.